my, my 13 year old son is more of a man than Will is. I don't see my brother as a man. I see him as a person. Or, or a, I think just, Will has a chemical imbalance that hasn't been addressed. There's I think that's another excuse. That's an excuse. Yeah. Another no. excuse. I was labeled as having ADD. I take care of myself. I've started three companies, both of which have become multi million dollar companies. And I was labeled as being depressed. I was labeled as all these different things. And you give him another excuse. Don't, don't enable him to say that he has ADD or anything else. All he has is a lack of motivation and a lack of making good decisions or making any decisions. Well, how do we change that? Here's how you change it. You tell him how. You set him down and you give him the how. We're talking about all the symptoms of his inaction. He needs a roadmap. And he needs accountability on a daily basis, not on a monthly basis. The reason why he showed up here today looking for a job is because he was accountable. You need to be daily accountable, not monthly. You need a probation officer is what you need. That's it. And, and, uh, and, and Will, as I said before, job number one is to get clean and sober. Job number two is to have some sort of plan. And Ryan, you have been mentoring people. Um, I would assume you'd work with, with Will if he wants to work with you? Yeah, if, if Will were willing to make if, a if decision... If he's willing to do it. ...that he was willing to make a decision, and actually, Will, if you've suffered enough right now, and if you're sick of hearing this, I mean, I can't even imagine how it would feel to walk into the supermarket with my son and be that guy, and to have my son having to have a greater level of maturity than I do. You must feel terrible right now, Will, and I can help you out of this. Yeah, right. And it starts with when you wake up in the morning. Yeah. And it finishes when you go to sleep. And it needs to start daily. And Will, if you want this type of help, if you're sick of hearing your family, I will work with you on a daily basis. All you have to do is commit. But I want you to commit right now and say, I'm done with this. I'm sick of feeling this fear because you are frozen in fear right now. Your inaction is because you're afraid. You're afraid to fail. You're afraid to go out there and get a job. And so you have all these excuses. And you know what, Will? If you've suffered enough, I'll help you. But I'm not going to help you. I'm not going to invest my valuable time unless you say, I'm committed. And then I'll show you the way. And I'll make that commitment. And I've got tools and techniques and everything that I've developed through my website. And I can work with you remotely in your hometown. And I can work with you on the phone on a daily basis. You just got to commit right here and right now to this group of people. And you'll do it. Are you going to commit? Yeah, I will. No, I mean, Will. I will I'm going to enthusiasm out of you. Because I'm not going to waste gotta, my time. You've got to believe it, Will. And Ryan, you hit the nail on the head when you said it's about fear. Here's what it is. As long as Will doesn't really try and he fails, he can always say, well, the reason I failed is because I didn't try. But if you try and you fail, then you have no more excuses. That's what you're afraid of. You're afraid that if you really apply yourself, you really won't make it. So therefore, I'm not going to apply myself because then I have to look in the mirror and say, I'm not good enough. You're afraid, Will. That's what this is. It's fear. You're making decisions based out of fear. Well, and, and look at all the support you have. Your sister-in-law, your brother, your mother. Look at all the support you, all the people who love you.